Today I'm taking a look at this unique lens from Astra Hori. 50mm f1.4 with a tilt function. Fully manual lens, see no contacts on the mount. In this case, I'm using the Z-mount version. Keep in mind they did send me this to try out and make the video on. As you can imagine when the lens tilts, you see the image shift. You can see the mechanism working from the back. My technical knowledge of photography and all the specific terms involved is relatively limited, so keep that in mind throughout the video. Let's take a look at the lens up close. On top here we have aperture ring. It is not clicked, so totally smooth in use with aperture in video situations. That should be super helpful. From f1.4 to f16. Here's a focus ring, 1.6 foot or 0.5 meters minimum. And then of course it goes to infinity. You can see the top portion does move when you adjust focus. The ring itself has some texture on it to help you with grip. Top portion here is the lens cap. The lens cap is completely metal. 46 millimeter, quickly try it out. Works just fine. There is a line right here in the middle that you want to use as a guide to keep it relatively straight. On the bottom here we have the tilt adjustment ring. So you can loosen that or tighten it. This does sometimes lock in there a little bit, but you can also rotate it as needed. There is a line indicating parallel to the sensor, so if you want just a normal photograph, try to get that line as straight as possible. I'm going to read off a passage from the Scheimflu principle. Forgive me if the pronunciation is wrong on that term. It's a description of the geometric relationship between the orientation, the plane of focus, the lens plane, and the image plane of an optical system. When the lens plane is not parallel to the image plane. Let's take a look at the lens parameters. Focal length 50 millimeters, aperture size f1.4 to f16, frame size, full frame capable, optical structure, seven elements and six groups. The field of view is 43.2 degrees, focal range of 0.4 meters to infinity, and it is a fully manual lens, no aperture control. The height is 70 millimeters, the diameter is 53 millimeters. Using this lens outdoors, no tripod. It was very challenging to use, but also fun at the same time. The aperture ring is completely smooth. Smooth. I personally prefer if it were clicked. That way it would be one less thing to move around when you're trying to adjust the tilt feature. And the manual focus ring is super smooth. It works well, especially with the Z5 with its focuses features. I would call this an artistic lens, another tool in your toolbox to try different things out and just get an idea of that whole tilt functionality, adjusting your plane of focus. Really fun. In those situations, I'm not really sure what aperture I was at, but generally I went around f2 to f4 or so. I'm happy with the results on that. They look pretty decent. Keep in mind that when I was doing those outdoor photo things, I did have this UV filter on just for ease of use and not having it get damaged or anything like that. I did do some tests compared to the 50mm f1.8 Nikon Z lens. Get an idea of at least how it compares to the standard. I'm happy with the results. You don't expect this to be up to the quality level of a standard official Nikon Z lens, but still they look really, really good. So far I've really enjoyed trying this lens out. It is certainly unique. There is a lot to keep in mind when you're trying to use it. I think it would be best used on a tripod, but you can do it handheld. It just takes a lot of effort extra time and in certain situations that's what you want to do you want to enjoy the process of photography something like this gives you a lot of things to do again thanks to astro hori for sending me this lens to take a look at and make a video on scott Profi bonsai thanks